Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do the review of 60 Second City. Hopefully you've had a chance to check out our How to Play and Playthrough. So this is a real-time cooperative puzzle game mm -hmm. where you're trying to complete goals building your city. And so depending on what difficulty you play, you're either going to try to... Oh, wrong camera. <laughs> you're either going to try to complete uh, 12 cards, because here's, here's the whole gold deck for the easiest Huge. setting, which is where we're at. You, you draw 12 and you lay out five. <clears throat> and you're going to play over five rounds and every round you're going to add three pollution. Now this is where we ended the game. And so we actually had, uh, we're doing really well because any goals that you don't complete from a previous round stay up. So on, on round four, we almost got through the whole deck mm -hmm. and we had these two to go. And you'll see that we completed this pattern here yep. and match the pattern here with the industrial. Yep. And the placement rules are really easy. You have to start from City Hall and you always have to place uh, future tiles ad adjacent to City Hall or other tiles. And if you are managed to create a pattern where pollution is in between there, we could have gotten rid of that pollution. And you generate pollution every turn by rolling these dice. If you happen to roll pollution, that's already there, you don't place it. So that's why you see that we had gotten rid of seven or we rolled duplicates. The game also comes with event cards that you can draw every turn for an advanced play that basically messes you up. Yeah. Uh, and then if you wanna see <laughs> real quick, the, you can play, we played the uh, baby setting here. The starter. <laughs> yeah, 12 gold cards, 16, 16 20 and 24, which means, uh, and by the way, in the last turn, Say there was 10 that you didn't finish, you see all the goals at once and try to complete all 10, which is probably very difficult. That'd be really confusing, I would think. Yes, and then it has a <laughs> ranking here. If you're able to complete it by, before the fifth turn, you can get the green. This is where we were last time. And then the uh, first time we played, we got here. Yep. And then if you do really bad, or you're playing with too many goals, uh, you'll get that ranking. Yeah. So that is a quick overview. You can see it's very easy to teach. Yeah, it's play. very easy. So let's take a look at what I have to say. Our comments about the game. We come up with it separately. We'll mm -hmm. have positive, negative, and neutral. Yep. So let's see what Julie has okay. to say. Okay. Well, I think this is a very fun two player puzzle game. And I don't oh. know if we've played something like this in a while, if ever. Um, I'm super happy it's cooperative. Anytime I can play cooperatively, I'm a happy little camper. The components are really nice and super easy to pick up, especially when you have nails. It's, it's really easy to grab them. Um, as David said, it's very easy to learn. Uh, it's just a piece of cake. He read the rules and was able to teach me in like five minutes. My only negative, and this is only because it's me, is I don't like the timer. The timer. It really stresses me out. I, I kind of go into panic mode because at first I think, all right, I got all this time. And all of a sudden it kicks in like, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. And I just panic. I freeze. And I just, that. so if you're into, you know, timers and being put under the gun like that, yeah. you'll like this. Well, but, it's stressful for you. But for me, it was and, too stressful. And I forgot to mention that during the, uh, when you watched the, the playthrough, the timer was sitting right here. Mm -hmm. And so you use either an egg timer or your phone and you have one minute for each round to complete five goals. And one minute goes by really yeah, it goes fast, really you fast. guys. Really so, fast. Now, I did say in the beginning it's a real time. I forgot to mention that you have a one minute timer. Oh. So I'm glad that you had that in your comment. Well, you're welcome. All right, what so did let's you see say? what I had to say. I'm interested. So it's quality pieces, average cards. Now, Buffalo Games, it's pretty interesting how they do that. We've gotten other games from them. Oh, we have? So I mean, it's a low price point, and we got this on sale. And we're, we would have bought it at even uh, a higher price. Oh, and, yeah. That's how much we like it. But if you take a look here, the card stock, you know, it's just average. Oh. Okay, it's it's easy to shuffle, mm -hmm. but it's not going to hold up to wear, I don't think, over time. Do you think you have to put those those little sleeves Well, you could put sleeves, but if you notice here, yeah. see the edging here? Oh, yeah. It got, a this is, it got a little messed up just in the shrink wrap. So, again, they're not the highest quality cards. Uh, but the pieces are outstanding, as oh, you saw yeah. me show it. And the board is wood. It's a wood board with a plastic inlay for you to lay the stuff in. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, and the tiles here, this is like a wood with, with uh, they're like they're stamped. kind of slick. They're stamped plastic, it mm. looks like. Now, I can see somebody making the mistake because when you get it, 
sometimes when I mean, you're, you're a group like this, you got to make sure that you break them apart this way. I could see somebody Breaking going them. this way. I wonder if anybody, I'm sure people have I'm done sure that. People have, so don't do that, you guys. Yeah, I'm sure when you handed them to me I to did. make sure. Because I'm like, I'm not touching these. I took them out of the sleeve. I'm like, here you yeah. go. They're all yours. So they can come, come grouped in, in a block of four. Right. So easy to learn, teach, and play. We're up in no time. It was easy. You see in the playthrough and the overview here. I Super mean, quick. Take, take less than a minute. Uh, cooperative is a plus. Now, neutral for me is solving puzzles. Mm -hmm. There is some theme. So uh, you can have puzzle games where there isn't much theme. But this one with the pollution and the fact that you're, you know, they do zoning in a certain ways. There's more theme here than other, than other puzzle games. Now, the theme isn't super strong, but it's definitely there. Uh, so their need for patient, I should have said patience. <laughs> so there you go. There's a, there's a, a usage error. Oh gosh, uh, it's too cute. So you, this is going to happen with people that you know really well. You can get frustrated with people. And when you're playing with strangers, you tend to be more forgiving. So uh, you got to watch yourself when you're playing a game like this, when you're rushing and say, come on, you know, you can get, you can get a little it, spunky heat in the moment. Okay. And so just, just keep that in mind that you got to have patience. You, in other words, you can be harder on people you know really well than on strangers. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. But I wasn't ever hard on him and he wasn't yeah. really hard on me. He, he well, helped me. He guided me. And what helped me when we played the game, and you'll see it in the playthrough, is that when he was saying, okay, we need to look for you know, whatever. I, he, I'm like, the colors, what helped me? So he said, look for these colors. And that made all the difference in the world because I don't remember what things are when he was saying this or this. When he said the colors, wow, what a, it's like a light well, bulb went off. It was We nice. developed more of a, a better way to play mm -hmm. as you played it. We, we were able to communicate better because you are allowed to communicate. Yeah, which is great. And so, uh, Couples that know each other, you know, it's a double-edged sword. You can figure, you know how to communicate with each other, mm -hmm. but also too, you can be less forgiving and more frustrating with each other at the same time. Yeah. Unless you're a saint all the time and you're uh, and you're you got perfect. Like me? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely not a saint. <laughs> uh, but back to what I was saying. So solving puzzles part, I, I wanted to say something mm -hmm. about that, is that you have games like Rush Hour and other puzzle games. Uh, there's more theme than this than other puzzle games. Now, Rush Hour does have theme. Yeah, it has okay. a theme. There's a theme there, too. So I would say it's about equal to that. That game would make me frustrated, too. Okay. So there's no included timer. No. It's a neutral for me, but I could see some people be like, well, I don't have my phone with me. I don't have an egg timer. Yeah. Uh, now, the advantage, though, of forcing us to use the, the phone is that it signals us when it's done. Mm -hmm. Unless you had an egg timer and went, you know, it made the noise. I think it makes a noise. See, a sand timer I don't think would be good enough. No, this because you wouldn't be able to hear it. Well, you got to keep on looking at it. And so I would have to say that in a good way, it forced you to use something that would make mm -hmm. noise unless you, have a sand, unless you have a sand timer. But uh, some people might be bothered by that. I so, like having the noise because then you really know, right. boom, it's done. All right. So those are our positive negatives and neutrals. <coughs> I didn't have any negatives, but let's see how we rank it. Okay. So Ooh. we both said good, usually willing to play. Yep. Uh, it's not an 8, 9, or 10 yet because we haven't played it enough to get to that level. And just so you know, we don't play puzzle games all the time. Generally, mm -hmm. it's not something that we say, hey, let's play a puzzle game. But this one, I liked this. I one. would play this over other puzzle games. Yeah. This comes to the top of the list if we want to play a game like this, especially since it's cooperative. Because, see, other games, <clears throat> it's uh, you're just solo and you help each other. Right. And this one, they did a really good job of basically... We both have something to do. Yep. And you have to cooperate. And I like that it's a quick setup. And, you know, in between, it's very quick to take things off, smoosh them around, yeah. lay down the pollution things, and just, boom, you're ready to go again. So it goes super fast, which I like, because you guys know I like games that are under, like, 45 minutes max. So, like, for instance, we're not into exit games. Oh, no, no. Uh, mm -mm. In fact, we disliked them. In fact, it would be... Uh, mediocre for us on those games because yeah. we'd only play it if other people wanted to play it and we just join in. We would never choose to play one of those games. Nope. Uh, rush Hour and games like that, I have it as an educator for my students. And I don't. And I have never played it. I, last time I played it was with students. 
Where I think I, I played it with the boys. Yeah, so it's been years. It's been many, it's been many years. years. But this, we would play mm -hmm. uh, with us because of the cooperative part. And I, I just think it just works really well. Like I, I said, th too. thematically, you're laying blocks down, uh, trying to get rid of that pollution. Mm -hmm. It works. It does. So it's, uh, eventually, it might go up higher, but again, we're not big puzzle players because, frankly, uh, it, it hurts our brains to, uh, <laughs> to play. Ed, can I be honest? I think it hurts, it hurts his more because he not only has to work his brain, but he has to help me with my brain. So he's getting like a double whammy. So I can see that it hurts him a little bit well, more. Well, we figured out how to communicate. And that was where, a big plus. Where I, where I tell her, if you see this piece, tell me and I'll help mm -hmm. you place it. And you can do that. Or if you get anything about these colors, put them off on this part right. of the board. So as you see here, we were... Babe, they can't see. Oh, wrong, wrong camera. <laughs> we were going for these at the end here. I basically told her, anything that's not this, put over here. Yep, and that's what I did. And then when you did draw something that was this, get my attention, I'll help you play. So again, that's just communicating. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that communication really uh, in, in those solo games. puzzle games. Mm -mm. So good job on this. We, yeah, we're really happy really with fun. this purchase. I, definitely. Yeah, and of all puzzle games, this is at the top of the list for us. I highly recommend this one, you guys. Yeah. It's super fun. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.